Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will upload file using ASP.NET Core. In here, I have home controller with index action. I will go to this view. And here I have a view for that index action. I will create a form here. Its method will be post. Its ink type will be multipart form data. This is necessary for file upload. And then we have ASP controller. And lastly, ASP action. It will be index. After that, I will have some bootstrap classes. And here I will take an input type file. with the name file and here i will take input type submit value upload file and lastly i will have a span for success message now let me give few classes here farm control btn btn primary okay fine we have a farm with home index action it will be of type post and we have also defined multi-part farm data it has input type file and a button okay now in home controller we will have index action with type http post and this index action will have a parameter in order to read this file, we need to make use of iFirm file. And its name will be file. Just remember, this name should be similar to the name that we have defined here. Now after that, I will define uploads folder. It will be uploads but I want to place this folder in web root path so for this web root path I have to make use of a service I web host environment after that I will have a constructor. In constructor, I will inject this service. Now here, I will have path dot combine, and it will combine that web host dot web root path comma uploads. So this will be our uploads folder in this root directory. If directory dot exist, if uploads folder does not exist, this negation, then create that directory. After that, the file name will be. file dot file name but we will also make use of path dot get file name this is how you can retrieve file name and lastly we will have file save path and it will be path 
dot combine with uploads folder comma that file name the file will get saved to the upload folder along with file name the last thing is we will be using file stream stream is equal to new file stream it will have file save path comma it will have a file mold and in this case it will be create we will copy that file to the stream and this will complete our file upload as we are using async method we need to use await and for await we need to use async with task okay the last thing will be view bag dot message file name concatenation space uploaded successfully and here we will return a view here we have a form with method post and it has input type file we are getting that file here as parameter using iform file we are getting the uploads folder in this root directory and if this folder does not exist we are creating the folder after that we are getting the file save path and using file stream we are uploading it lastly we are sending the message file name uploaded successfully so display this message in the index here okay let's run the application choose file upload file file uploaded successfully so if i go to my code you can see that i have got uploads folder here with the file that we have recently uploaded so that's all from my side let's meet in the next video